Wanna get up? Do you wanna say hi? Can you say hi to the camera? What sound does a doggy make? <laughs> Whoa! That was kind of a growl. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It has been a hot minute. I also just filmed this entire video, rewatched the footage, and hated it. So I'm doing it all over again. Huh. We're doing it all over again while my kid is awake, so this might be a little bit of a struggle. Oh, you're eating the paper. Nice. But the video that I filmed, it showed like my hair, how I did it, and my makeup. This time, I'm just gonna talk. A little bit vlog style and I just wanted to give you guys an update that I'm back and what I've been up to I have been gone for two months it has been a while like I said but if you're excited that I'm back please give this video a big ol' thumbs up and leave a comment down below saying how excited you are. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're new here, please also comment down below saying hi. I'd love to get to know you. I have a number of new subscribers here and I would love to get to know you guys. I love each and every one of my subbies. And if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe down below so you can become part of our little subby fam we have going on over here. But let's do a quick little update before my kid goes too crazy and we need to head to the grocery store. What have we been up to? Okay, I took a big ol' social media break. Kind of. Let me explain. One, I took a, a break. Back in August, I posted on Instagram my thoughts. I was super conflicted and I just didn't know where I was going with YouTube and social media. I was frustrated. I felt like it was taking over my life and I just didn't like my headspace towards it. I thought it would be best if I just took a break for a little bit and unfollow all the junk that I was following, which I highly recommend. I feel like my Instagram is way more like worthwhile and meaningful now. I just, from doing that, it has just made social media in general so much better for me. But then, recently, if you've heard of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I'm a member and I love it. And recently there was a big old social media fast for all of the women in the ward to participate in. It was a 10 day social media fast where you remove all of your social media. I'm talking like you delete it off your phone, you don't go on it. And they did it for like the youth, like the teenagers a few months ago and I didn't participate. A lot of people did, but I just didn't. I was like, nah, I'm, I'm trying to create a business. I just can't do that right now. But this time, since I was already like on my little break, I've decided to officially go on a fast. I cut it all out and let me tell you what, if you have not tried it, you don't have to be a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Just anyone can do it. I highly recommend it. It just clears your mind, I feel like. Clears your mind of negativity, anything of influence. It just, it was so beneficial for me. But it was also really, really, really hard. I have to be honest because as a mom in particular, and even just like not being a mom, just working, a college student, it is nice to come home at the end of the day and do something completely mindless. It's also very addicting, but it is just so nice to just not think about anything because sometimes I just don't want to be productive. I just want to veg and not do anything. I'm not a TV watcher. It's just not really my thing. I, ever since high school, just didn't have the time. I just never got back into it. And so, I don't watch TV, so basically I was like, well, I can read a lot, and so I did, or I just got a lot of things done. So that was really, that was definitely a pro. I found that I had a lot of time in my day, but I also just really wanted to do something mindless, or just like, I don't know, I love showing and sharing like other bloggers, other YouTubers, and little shops here and there and things like that with my friends here in Texas. 
and just with my life in general and it was just like weird to not be able to access any of it but anyways I did it and it was so beneficial it was so nice it was so nice to get that break but I'm glad to have it back <laughs> and so since that is over I decided like okay I should officially come back now um by the way back on that topic really quick there is a difference between going on a break from any sort of social media and deleting it so if you haven't just deleted instagram snapchat facebook pinterest twitter youtube whatever it is that causes negative feelings in you you should do it you should try it do it if any of you have done some sort of like social media fast let me know in the comments down below like your thoughts on it and how you felt positive negative i would love to hear from you okay some other things that we've been up to lately is traveling we have been to colorado and utah and then my husband has been traveling here and there to san francisco and utah as well on a separate occasion um in utah i had a wedding my best friend from college got married it was such a fun day but let me tell you, when you are like the bride and groom and then like part of the bridal party, it is a very long day. It was so tiring, but it was so much fun. And I'm so glad I was able to go and fly out for it because it was such a blast and I loved every minute of it. Like I just love celebrating brides. I just think it's the best ever. And like when I was younger, I had always wanted to be a wedding planner. So I just love weddings and all that stuff. I just think it's so much fun. And then we went to Denver for Labor Day just to spend time with family. Tyler's family lives in Denver and we love Denver. So we love visiting there as well. And then, like I said, Tyler has been traveling for business and he also had a wedding, a separate wedding in Utah that I did not go to. Reason why I didn't go was because Zara is a complete nightmare on flights. I'm like so sick and tired of flying with her. I'm like, no more. I've told my family, both sides, like I'm not doing it. I'm not going anywhere for a while. Just not until like, honestly, like I'm not gonna risk not buying her her own seat. So we can't afford that. So we're just not gonna travel. Besides Christmas, we plan to go to Denver for Christmas to spend it with Tyler's family. That is our year there. And yeah, so that's all the traveling we've been doing as of late. Some other like crazy fun, or not even fun. I would not put this under the fun category. Guys, we had mice in our house. Mice, it was the worst ever. Hi Zara. What do you got? Okay, right now Zara is loving shoes. She goes over my shoes and tries to put them on and she'll do that for like 30 minutes straight. It's awesome. I'm so glad she loves shoes. Do you love shoes? Are you playing with mommy's shoes? Yes, did you blinky? Yes. Yes. Oh, you wanna come up? You wanna say hi? <gasps> say hi! Do you love shoes? Yes. Love you. Can you get back down? We're gonna leave here in just a minute, okay? We have to go to Trader Joe's. Anyways, we had mice, it was horrible. I thought it was cockroach poop that I was finding for a few weeks. And then the poop ramped up. Guys, it was <laughs> awful. It was so gross. I truly felt so invaded. It was disgusting and it took a while to get rid of them and it was so gross. I had to go out of town. Tyler had to come home and deal with it. They were still alive. It was awful. We did catch one, but I mean, we had multiple mice for sure, but we just set out like traps and stuff like that and they are all gone. They are all dead. We have not seen mouse poop in a long time and I am so grateful because truly, give me a cockroach any day, I will take that over mice. Truly, and I hate cockroaches. Okay, some other things. What else have we been up to? Um, we've decorated for fall in our house. You guys should let me know. I know it's so late in the game. It is literally the end of October. Hi, sweet girl. Did you milk? It is the end of October, and 
I didn't know if maybe you guys would want to see like how I decorate our house for fall. It is honestly nothing super special. I didn't buy anything new this year, but I am loving our little front door area outside. I think it's really fun. I got some really fun Halloween lights to put in it, and then I also just got orange lights for afterwards because I'm going to switch them out after once Halloween's done. And just have some fun little lights. I just love like Christmas lights, Halloween lights. I think they're so fun. So yeah, we decorated for fall back in September. I love decorating for fall and for Christmas. It just is so festive. So if you want to see how we decorate it, just let me know. I'll let you know all my favorite fall candles are, favorite fall scents, and things like that. Just let me know. Anything else? Guys, oh my gosh. I shared with this in when I was sharing how I did my hair, um, but I wanted to let you guys know, I feel like my hair has finally been trained to not be greasy on second day hair. It has taken me truly like almost two years. I have been doing washing or like washing my hair every other day, every three days for months and months and months. It has to be two years. And it has taken my hair so freaking long and I hate dry shampoo and I've just like took out all dry shampoo. I was using the Bumble and Bumble stuff and I just really didn't like it. I felt like it really made my hair very gritty. Just wasn't a fan. And I used it because one, I thought it would work really well. And two, I just don't really like using aerosol cans. But when I went to Utah for the wedding, I just got a travel size of aeros of this right here <laughs> of this aerosol can <laughs> um the dub refresh and care volume and fullness dry shampoo and i loved it and it works so well can you even believe this is second day hair for me i can't and i barely use this for one because my hair just looks great second day now oh yes this is my shoe see here you go yeah. yeah and i just can't get enough of this i love it I barely have to use any now because I feel like my hair is finely trained. I'm now working on like trying to go three days without washing my hair. That's a bit of a struggle, but I do use this and I feel like it works really well. And when I say that it works really well, for me, dry shampoo feels very heavy and wet in my hair and I hate it. And this like doesn't do that. So I really like it. So if you've been struggling with finding a dry shampoo, I would try this. It's only like five or six dollars. At like your grocery store try it okay my daughter keeps handing me shoes she wants me to put them on her and she knocked over my laundry on the coffee table that's Zara in a nutshell right now she is just like a wrecking ball she like is a tornado to everything she sees in sight and now she's going up the stairs. So I have to go. <laughs> I need to go chase after my toddler. And we're going to go to Trader Joe's and get some groceries. But thank you so much for watching. I hope this is a fun little update. I'm so excited to be back. Let me know any videos that you guys want to see in the comments down below. I am just, I love YouTube so much. It is so fun for me. And I've really missed it this last few months because this is like my thing, my creative outlet, and I love just making friends and talking to you guys. So please leave a comment down below saying hello if you are new here. I would love to hear from you and get to know you a little bit better. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button down below so you can become part of our subby fam over here. We are back in action and I'm so excited. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.